everyone good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are welcome to gist and cook with me today we're gonna be cooking on the menu is vegetable soup or a dikang ikong as it, it is popularly called um in the southern part of nigeria okay so that's the stuff that there's just ugu leaf or pumpkin leaf that's a frozen one it is best to use the fresh one where i leave i cannot find fresh ugu leaf okay so that's um spinach instead of water leaf so where i leave i cannot find fresh water leaf to buy so i, I usually just use spinach instead because i don't like frozen water leaf i don't like the taste okay so that's the uncut um spinach for those of you who don't know what it looks like it has a very close texture to what i leave okay so we're gonna need some catfish we're gonna need some um, cameroon pepper some shredded stock fish and we're gonna need some seasoning cubes some um, red oil or palm oil some salt um, we're gonna need onions um, some dry crayfish some chili pepper to season my meat so the protein of my choice today is chicken. You can use cow meat or goat meat. It actually tastes better with goat meat, actually. We're going to need um, tripe and pomo or cow skin and shaki. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using for this recipe. So to begin, I'm going to, in a clean pot, I already put my meat. So I'm going to start seasoning both um, pots. I'm going to add one cube each to each pot. I'm going to add some onion to the chicken. And then I'm going to add some chili pepper, um, some salt, excuse me, some salt to both pots. And then I'm, now I'm going to add one tablespoon of chili pepper to each pot. You, you have to be careful with the pepper. If you know you can't, just put what you can tolerate, okay? So after that, I'm going to add some water to the um, shaki and pomo. That's two, cup of, two cups of water. And then I'm going to allow that cook for like 10 minutes. So with the chicken, I'm not going to add any water yet. I'm going to let it uh, cook for five minutes. So it, it can bring out its own juice before I add water. The reason I do this is so the meat, it makes the meat um, tastier, okay? So now I'm going to add uh, like two cups of water and I'm going to let it cook for like 10 minutes. So after that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix my um, shaki and pomo so the ingredient can mix properly. And then I'm going to let both pots cook for like 10 minutes. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna wash my catfish, my dried catfish and my shredded um, stockfish. I'm gonna use warm water to wash this. You can use um, room temperature water if you want, but I, I usually like to use warm water so it can like, get rid of all the, it can just make it cleaner, you know? So I transferred my chicken into a bigger pot, okay? So that's my shredded cat, uh, stockfish and I added my catfish. So now I'm adding my um, stock from the pomo and, and shaki. So I'm going to add one cup of water as well and let it cook for like five minutes. So the meat, the uh, stock fish and the catfish can be soft. Okay. So this was five minutes later. I'm going to add my crayfish and then I'm going to add some pepper, some Cameroon pepper, one tablespoon of Cameroon pepper. Guys, Cameroon pepper is really spicy, so you, have, you gotta be careful, okay? So I added some onion. I'm gonna mix, mix, mix like so. I'm gonna cover and allow to cook for like uh, two minutes. So after that, I'm gonna add some oil. Guys, I like to be generous with my oil when it comes to vegetable soup. You have to like add a lot of oil, you know? So I added some oil. I added, um, after adding some oil, I allowed to cook for like uh, about two minutes so so the oil can mix properly, okay? So this was two minutes later. You can see the oil is well mixed with the rest of the ingredient. So after that, I tasted it to see if I needed to add any more seasoning. I thought I needed one more um, seasoning cube. I added one more seasoning cube off camera. So now I added my pomo and shaki. So I'm going to mix, mix, mix like so. And then I'm going to add my spinach leaf and allow to cook for like one minute. So after cooking for like one, that's the spinach uh, leaf. I'm going to let it cook for one minute. So this was one minute later. I'm going to mix and mix like so. So after mixing like so, I'm going to add my ugu leaf. After adding my ugu leaf, I'm going to add some more onion. 
like so and then i'm gonna add some more oil guys i already told you you gotta be generous with the oil because um Google, uh, vegetable soup requires a lot of oil okay so i'm gonna let it cook for like three more minutes and there you go guys my soup was ready at this point the aroma in my kitchen was something else so you can have this soup with any swallow of your choice pounded yam gari you can use oatmeal you can use um, um plantain fufu you can use any swallow of your choice okay Thank you so much guys for stopping by i really i love you guys please like share comment drop your comment on the comment section let me know what you think if you've tried it let me know what you think i love you bye